let's look at some other situations besides the studio situation. So if you have the same light on the subject you want to shoot, you can put a white balance card in different places. Now, I'm going to use this little rampway here to show you that it has to be the same light. So if you look at here, it's quite bright. And then the white balance device is over here in kind of a shady spot. When I try to use this shady white balance situation to correct the sunny situation, it made it too yellow. So it has to be the same. Shade, sun are different. Morning versus midday versus evening, of course, night. These are all different. Inside versus outside, everything's different. So it has to be the same situation. So if I am concerned about this shady area here that I'm number 13, then my white balance device needs to be in that same situation. So here's my white balance device. Here's the shot. I'm going to go to develop. I make sure auto sync is on. And I will do some correction there. And let's go over to here. Use the white for comparison. So original on the left, the before on the left, corrected on the right. So it was kind of a little bluish in the shadows, and that's been corrected over here. So now let's go back to G. And let's say I'm more concerned about the metal pole here. Well, if I'm more concerned about the metal pole, I need to have this white balance here with the reflected area of the light. So I'm going to do kind of the same thing again. I'll hit develop. So this time, I'm going to do a white balance correction based on that card. Let me hit the other view here and hit the Y. So here's the original. Here's this one here. So you know there, there might actually be a situation where I want to do one based on the sunny part, one based on the shadow. That would help me out there. The key thing in this is making sure your white balance device is in the lighting situation you want to do. I could theoretically put these two together and maybe get the best of both worlds.